I'm Nick. Welcome to Get Out and Wrench. Today, I'm working on my car trailer. I'm going to be installing this winch. This is a used traveler winch. It's an 8,000 pound. Uh, it actually came off of somebody else's trailer and they upgraded their winch. So I got this. <clears throat> but I got this plate from Harbor Freight that I'm going to bolt in place gonna go up there behind the box and I got my bag of hardware and then I'm also gonna install these D-rings in all four corners to help with securing cars down because right now right now I'm securing them to here or back here around the front here and I don't really like that to come loose so I'm gonna upgrade those okay so the d-rings are separate from the bracket so you gotta bolt them in like this because this goes in the back here and I'm just gonna put them put one here and I'll put one on the other side and I'll do the ones in the back. I'm going to use these carriage bolts. They have a little square on the bottom. But they'll fit through here and then the square will fit into that square hole. I'll do the same thing on the bottom. And it should be pretty straightforward. The thing I got to make sure is that I, I have a place for the nut to go on the back. And I'm not drilling into a spot that I can't access. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint pen. And I'm going to mark about where I think I'm on it. And then I'll put a dot in the middle there. And a dot in the middle on the bottom. I guess ideally I should have some lube or something. Yeah. Alright, I got my driveway WD-40. It's just a can of WD-40 I leave in my driveway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill this one out all the way and I'll bolt it down and then I'll make sure that my other hole is going to be in the right spot. I'm going to do that for all of them. The same thing. I'm going to spray a little bit more WD-40 on there. should be that bottom hole the dots in the right spot so I'm gonna go ahead and drill it
for the nut and bolt hardware that I got for this. I got nylock nuts. They're the little ones with the nylon in, in them. And I got some flat washers. So the reason I said to make sure you have enough room is because this bolt is long and is if I used a longer bolt here it would run into the, the wood on the deck. So the top one I'm gonna have to do with an open end wrench, but the bottom one I should be able to do with a with a ratchet. I probably should just put it on here on the front. Oh well, that would have been a lot easier. I may still I may still put ones on the front here, but I'm gonna use I'm gonna put these here for now. I have some weld on ones too that I can use. Again, and you know, with a little bit of paint, and the look factory. Three more to go. I got all of these hooks installed. They're all four down. I got two on the other side. And now I'm working on mounting the winch plate. I drilled holes here. They go down underneath. To right there. And I drilled them too close to the L part of that angle iron. So what I had to do, so the, the one on 
this side came up on too much of an angle. So what I ended up doing was I followed out these holes a little bit on both sides. You see, so now, now I can move this so I can make it as straight as I can. It doesn't need to be perfect, it's a trailer, but I like to at least look somewhat decent. So I'm going to drill. And then the reason that I don't have it pushed all the way back is because the boards only come up to about here and I wouldn't have enough room to get my hardware in underneath there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill two more of these through and they're just going to clamp to the wood for now. And then I got my holes here for the actual winch. And they're going to use these bolts through the wood and through the winch plate. And I think that should be that should be good. I may get some more some bigger washers to put on here as well. Just to give it a little bit more support. Like I have these couple extra washers from here. So we'll see. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drill these back holes. Actually, what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna tighten these guys. So those are two. I'm going to do two more. One here and one in the same hole on that side. I may end up running, a, running some welds down the back of this just for safety, but for now I think it'll be alright. But we'll see. We'll see how it does. If it flexes too much, I'll definitely run some welds down it and maybe figure something else out for the actual winch mount. But. On the winch, I have, so I had, these were what was in there. This is a M10 by 1.5 nut, and these were the bolts. I went to the store and I couldn't find any of these. So I ended up with 7 16 by 14 nuts. And they're a little bit bigger, so I had to shave the end of them so they slide in. So that's going to slide in here.
how did those two go in so easily? So I'm going to drill these holes out a little more to half inch, just so I have a little bit of wiggle room. So that way I can put the bolts in. So these are going to come up through the bottom into the winch and bolt it down. That bolt's too short, so I'm gonna have to get some more hardware, but it should be. Should be close. That was a, that was a two and a half inch bolt that I had there, so this is a three inch. So we'll see if that So that three inch should work. So I'll get two, two more three inch bolts and I need to get another nut because I messed that one up on the winch. I guess I will complete this tomorrow because I don't have time to go get more stuff right now. But I'll finish drilling these out at least. It's not the best drill for what I'm doing. I bought that because it was cheap and it's a hammer drill and I needed a hammer drill to drill in some concrete. All right, oh, I guess I'll do these, these guys here for the other two of these. And then I'm definitely gonna run a, maybe not a whole bead, but like maybe one, one in the middle and the one over here. So three beads, maybe about two inches long just for safe measure. Because that's only wood. Same here. That's also only wood. But it'll work. I just need to pull cars on the trailer. Um, it's just annoying going to get a car that doesn't run and having to push it on the trailer. You get the idea. Uh, I'll finish this video tomorrow. It's a very long day. So I finished installing the winch this morning. I'm still waiting on my roller fair lead for this, but 
it's all mounted. We got the wires zip tied to the back here so they don't fly around. And then underneath, you can see this through the wood, there's some through the steel, and then the four for the actual winch itself are through the wood. I may add a piece of steel that runs between these two back ones. I can't really do anything about the front ones because they are right up against that angle iron. So maybe I'll just tack weld those to it or something. But I think this will do what I want it to do. Be able to pull a car on the trailer instead of having to push it. But the winch, I can just show you that the winch works. Controller. <clears throat> what I'm also going to do is I'm going to end up getting a battery box and mounting a battery right here. So <clears throat> then I can have a battery and maybe I'll get a little solar panel to put on top of it so it stays charged. For now, this works. And we got, let's see, we got help. I might have just wasted a whole bunch of time. All right, so everything is very corroded on here. This winch has been sitting for a little while and it was on a trailer for a number of years. So I'm gonna clean up all these connections if I can without breaking anything. Hopefully I don't have to get a different winch because that'd be annoying. This is the one I'm most concerned about. But basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them off one at a time. And yeah, see how corroded that is, so get a sandpaper in here.
problem worse. I broke it. All right, so I cut a couple of washers and I'm gonna put them in here, take up the tension around this nut. I may need one more, one more thin one. But that's just gonna, cause that nut started spinning in there and it started pulling the, the stud out and I can't get it tighter. <clears throat> and I'm not buying a new winch. I should have known that was going to happen. All right, well, that works. I gotta figure something out for here. Maybe just cut a couple of washers and hammer them in there to take up the tension. All right, so. <clears throat> so I hammered a couple of washers in there. It takes up the space. And yeah, that's good. That's not, that'll make a good connection. Well, better than Better than no connection, and it should hold it for a while. I'll probably end up buying a new winch eventually, but for now, this will get me by. 
because I need to I need to start using this trailer to go get some cars. Hopefully we'll be out using this trailer soon and I can take a video of loading a car on it and using all my new hooks. So we got our, our hooks here and our winch. I just got to get the fair lead that should be here today. So I'll put that on once it gets here and then the trail will be ready to use. I'm Nick. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Remember, Get out and wrench.